uh, depending on where you are in the world. Working for Northern Summer comes with a unique soundscape. Um, there's the Nody kids that play. Uh, they have high-pressure sprinkler uh, systems and the distant jingle of ice cream trucks. There's also an almost incessant background drum, the angry whir of gas-powered lawnmowers running at full throttle. And the, the last of these may not be long for this world. After years of false starts, a growing number of autonomous electric lawnmowers are starting to compete with their internal combustion cousins. These battery-powered mowers of sink big outdoor Roombas with blades are cleaner and quieter than those running on gasoline and they join a blossoming market for landscaping tools that don't spew carbon. Here, literally everyone I know has one, says Maria Yatrakis, a professional soccer player turned coach who lives in rural Sweden. And everyone names him. Ours is called Darty. Yatrakis says Gardi short for the brand name Gardina Saimino saves her and her wife two hours a week of manual labor and reduces her allergies because mowing now happens at the night. They look like big turtles. Yutraka says, just turtling around doing that job. Electric mowers are effectively tiny climate warriors. Running a gasoline lawn mower for an hour releases as much carbon dioxide equivalent as driving a sedan for 45 minutes, according to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, and those emissions add up quickly. In 2011, the most recent year, with available data, gas-powered lawn equipment accounted for 12% of carbon monoxide emissions in the U.S. and 43% of volatile organic compound emissions, harmful gases that also waft from paints and pesticides. Robomoas have technically been around for decades, but until recently, they weren't that good. The autonomous part wasn't so hard, they occasionally get stuck or ingest a stray ball. But the big, knobby tires make light work of uneven terrain. The real breakthrough was more efficient batteries that can cover more ground on a single charge. Some old versions were even peathered by power cords, which could be run over and centered. Older models also used to ping-pong around an area bordered by a physical wire, but new models take advantage of preloaded maps to navigate via GPS and avoid spots that should be skipped. If you want to install a flower bed or swimming pool, you just go into the app and say, stay out of this area, says Glenn and Stone, president of the forest and garden division of Husqvarna Group, a company in Stockholm that started making autonomous mowers almost 30 years ago. Last year, the company harvested almost 600 million in robo-mower revenue. Um, Husqvarna's robo-mowers um, started about $700 compared with $600 for uh, the typical gas and human-powered version. Uh, at the highest end is the Automower 450 $10, uh, which costs $5,900, and has a big enough battery to keep up with uh, 2.4 uh, acres of grass. Cookings are mulch not collected. Another fleet of landroids comes from a motion in Hong Kong, which raised almost $3.4 million from 2,400 backers on Kickstarter last year. The company now sells three robo-mowers globally, each of which looks like a stubby little Formula One car. The most Turdoma motion, the all-wheel D $5,000, can cut 1.3 acres and navigate a 75-degree slope. A stealing government, based in Waveland in Germany, and known for its trademark orange and white power tools, also makes a robot mower. The IMAL RMI 632PCL covers about 1.3 acres, costs $2,000, and is no louder than a house fan. It's one of the largest research and development projects that still has ever done, says Brian Monke, product segment manager for Wheeled Goods. Autonomous mowers are making their earliest inroads with commercial customers' office complexes, universities, golf courses, where they can replace the humans, who typically constitute two-thirds the cost of any major groundskeeping operation. There is high adoption in Scandinavian countries, in part because of how quickly the grass grows during long summer days. Roughly half the market for grass-cutting machines in Sweden is now autonomous and electric according to who's Parma. In Germany, it's about a quarter.
In the UK, 5%. In the US, where single-family homes and large lawns led to about 10 million lawnmower sales a year, Husqvarna says only 5% of the market is battery-operated, but that number could climb quickly. Multiple cities and the entire state of California have banned the sale of most gas-powered tools by the end of the year.